This is a civil defense message for Monday, July 2nd at 6 in the morning. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that Fisher 8 continues to be very active and is feeding a lava channel to the ocean at Kapoho. The flow is producing a broad ocean entry along the shoreline and is also oozing fresh lava at Kapoho Beach Lots. Fisher 22 is also active and producing a short flow. Gas emissions from the Fisher eruption and lays at the ocean entry continue to be very high. The National Weather Service reports trade winds will push Vog to the south and west side of the island. Highway 130 will reopen to all traffic beginning at 8 a.m. tomorrow, July 3rd. Kamaili Road will be open to residents only. Highway 137 will be open from Highway 130 north to Opihikau Road. Mackenzie State Recreation Area and the new lava flow areas remain closed. Vacation rentals, as well as all businesses in the Kalapana area, can resume normal operations. There is no immediate danger, but persons in the area are reminded to be on the alert for changing conditions and to monitor civil defense messages. The emergency alert warning sirens will be tested today at 11.45 a.m. This is the normal monthly test of the emergency alert warning sirens. We are on watch 24 hours a day for your safety. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has now been closed for 49 days. Ongoing earthquakes and nearly daily collapse explosions are just a few of the hazards that keep this area shut down to the public. A layer of ash covers the otherwise deserted Hale Ma'u Ma'u Overlook parking lot, which would typically be packed with cars and visitors. Inside, Jagger Museum itself is also empty after park officials cleared out the artwork and relocated it to a more secure place. And the underlying theme is uncertainty. We don't know where the next earth crack is going to open up. We don't know what effect that's going to have on our park or our park visitors. While the Kahuku unit of the park remains open five days a week, Officials say the Kilauea area sustains too much damage on a daily basis, from new cracks along roadways to the rattling of earthquakes that could create fall hazards or new areas of isolation. Park rangers say it's just not possible to keep everyone safe. Officials estimate the closure of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, which is entering now its seventh week, has caused an impact of about $20 million in losses to the local economy.
This is a civil defense message for Sunday, July 1st at 6 in the evening. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that fisher rate continues to be very active and is feeding a lava channel to the ocean at Kapoho. The flow is producing a broad entry along the shoreline and is also oozing fresh lava at Kapoho Beach Lots. Fisher 22 is also active and producing a short flow. Gas emissions from the fisher eruption and lays at the ocean entry continue to be very high. The National Weather Service reports trade winds will push fog to the south and west side of the island. Due to the volcanic activity, the following policies are in effect. Due to active lava near houses in Kapoho, access by residents is not allowed. Due to frequent earthquakes, residents in the volcano area are advised to monitor utility connections of gas, electricity, and water after earthquakes. The Disaster Recovery Center is open daily from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and is located at the Kao High School Gym. If you need a ride, buses will resume running between the two shelters and the Disaster Recovery Center between 7.30 a.m. and 9 p.m. The emergency alert warning sirens will be tested on Monday at 11.45 a.m. This is the normal monthly test of the emergency alert warning sirens. We are on watch 24 hours a day for your safety. Thank you for listening. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense.